morning guys, welcome to Flory Models Daily Show. Here we are on Wednesday the 21st of September 2016. And today I'm really gonna push on with the actual Chieftain. We're gonna get the camo onto it. Uh, and I've already done a few other bits and pieces I'll show you in a second. So to be honest, we've already started uh, down here in Spray Bay. So um, in typical Flory Models fashion, I'm out of white. So what I've actually done, I've made a custom mix using um, micro filler. AK's white stuff, which I actually quite like, I must admit, don't get me wrong. Um, now what I've actually done is to give a more solid looking white, because let's face it, white can be quite opaque, okay, and it's very sort of, you know, translucent and it, it shows through. So actually what I do with all my white now is I give it a little bit of buff, okay, so a little bit of XF87, and I know what you're thinking, well hold on Phil, that's a lacquer, that's an acrylic, but don't forget, the big fire symbol on these is always a giveaway that actually they will mix together, but you have to give them a very good mix. Make sure they were running flowing well that way you get this sort of off white solid color so what we've actually done if we move the turret is we've started in here so what we've done we've masked up the black areas we've done underneath uh, and we've put some little areas down in here sorry in here like this and around the back so it's all masked off all right so what we're going to start to do now is mask this white area which is dry so that's going to be our next now two ways of doing this we're going to do some business card ones because stock cards very thick uh, it's very good you can just hold it into place and give you a nice sharp edge uh, where you need it so you can angle it down into gaps and things like that which is something we're going to show on this one one. And basically we're going to then mask the white then we're going to come in with a gray as per down here and to be honest it's going so well i'm probably going to use microfiller gray with a hint of something to give it the correct sort of look okay and then the brown is going to have to be a custom mix which we're going to make between uh, xf68 uh, nato uh, and we're going to use a little bit of flat earth mixed into it so we're going to be using a little bit of xf52 just to put that down in there so hopefully by the end of the day it'll be fine gun barrel we'll probably still do uh with the sort of uh, olive drab uh, or the sort of olive green colors down in there the end of the barrel you know, is black the center is black and so is the sort of recoil area as well all right so actually it's going very very well got the turret we've got the side skirts they're going to be done separate down in here and <clears throat> we've got those all important tracks okay so we've got uh, somewhat rustying tracks and yesterday i must admit i did spend a few hours and we've put the track pads into this which actually i think have come out really really well no problem with that at all they are great sticking in a little bit of pva glue in every hole and then just putting in each brick and then to be honest what we did like on this one we flip it over and then we squash it all down with it down on there onto a bit of paper towel and then a quite white a quick wipe over with a warm um water brush just to get rid of the actual glue that's on the tracks but obviously we can sand these tracks down as well to give them a little bit of wear and tear but generally very happy how they've turned out we've got no problems with these at all uh, and these should go on later on when it comes out of uh, the actual spray area and then what we're going to do is going to weather those in exactly the same time as we're going to do everything else so once this guy is out of here then we can make our way through with it so as i say a funny day for me it's going to be all in the spray bay all doing camera work it's going to take its time it's going to be long it's going to be laborious but with all this type of camo work when you start to get on a little bit of a roll uh, and you start to work out what works best. Sometimes it's just a business card down in there. Other times you think, okay, it's gonna be masking tape, things like that. But as soon as you sort of get the hang of it, it doesn't take too long at all. You tend to find that the first sort of, you know, hours work is a real frustration and a struggle and you end up redoing bits and away you go. And then you think, right, this is working, this isn't working. You work out your plan and the rest of it sort of falls into place. So anyway, I'll join you as we make our way throughout the entire morning painting this guy up. Okay, so we have been on this for the last sort of three hours, working our way through, and like we explained at the beginning of this, it was always going to be a case of what works best for you. My case was a lot of learning curves on this one. Uh, I'll start over here. So, top turret is done. Make a little bit of flack off the thing. So there we go, that's down there like that. Obviously this is just the base. We've still got to go in, we've got to take care of a little bit of overspray, usual bits and pieces. The trouble you have, it's so complex going around a lot of these curves and surfaces, it's really hard to know uh, if it's going to work or not. So a lot of it we've been using like business cards, just placing them, holding them on top, trying to get a clean edge, a sharp edge that way. And it has worked in a lot of cases. For instance, a lot of this work 
down on the front here was literally a business card held in place uh, and moved over and done like that. The colour I don't think is too far out. Again, it's very difficult to know if it's spot on or if it's not. But don't forget, we're going to change all of this a little bit. We're going to go through the normal sort of weathering steps and everything else. I've just done the grey work down here at the back. The white's all masked up. It's all underneath. We've still got to do some touch-ups and changes, to be honest, to this piece because the skirt doesn't line up with the rest of it. Uh, so, but generally it is getting there. It's coming together very, very nicely. And because I'm on a bit of a roll with this, unfortunately I have a confession. This isn't going to be up till tomorrow. Um, we're going to get a load up on the site tomorrow, but I'm not going to have time to edit this because obviously I've got paint on the go uh, and we're doing it like that. Speaking of which, we're actually using two airbrushes. I've got one up here. Uh, this has got the brown in and this one over here has got the grey in. Uh, then we might have to shoot back and do some white like just down in there We've got a little bit of overspray. We need to take care of again. It's that thing I don't know if you can see around the corner. I've got my uh, monitor over there with all the pictures up uh, and I can grab and make them bigger as is required and looking at the instructions and looking at the real thing and then you see different things different angles it's very hard to know exactly what's right and wrong on this one but certainly from my point of view it's coming together it's really getting there I'm hoping by the end of the day we can get this thing a mast and it will all look the part um, and then what we're going to do is just pop around and do the white work and just do a little bit of touching and stuff like that but it's definitely one of those things I thought actually no this isn't too bad we can you know sort of rattle through this but actually now it's taking a lot longer than we thought the time now is actually coming up for uh, 25 to 3 and we're still working on this one as I say we're almost there I'd ideally like to do this for the show tonight to show it as being finished but what I'm going to do is um, in the morning tomorrow obviously I'm out um, and then uh, in the afternoon obviously I've got a review to do so but I really want to push forward on it so I might shift everything back a day uh, tomorrow and actually work through this one to get it completed and done because when you're on a roll and you've got all the paint on the go and the tape and all the bits and pieces you can see around here it really does help out okay to be sort of do it in one stage so anyway we are getting there it's coming together so join me in the actual uh, new show tonight where hopefully we'll have it done so there we go a really busy day today pushing on heavily with this guy to try and get this one all in and everything else like that again this is one of those things we've explained throughout the entire build of this and how i show about doing it don't be too put off by the colors now looking at this one and i've got four very nice very clear photos of this particular piece of armor in the obviously the berlin scheme now, one of them looks like these panels pretty much spot on. No problem at all. Got another one, it looks lighter. I've got another one and the camo pattern is different to this one. Yeah, I thought they were all exactly the same, but hey ho, everyone, different ones. Uh, and it's right the way down to this, uh, the actual barrel shroud over this one as it goes down. Uh, I've got one photo, this is perfect color for it. I've got another photo, it looks green. This is what we're saying. Uh, it has to be at some point you need to make a decision on which one you're going to do. So you've got a choice. You can either follow the photo and that's it, do it like that, or you can be in a situation of saying, right, okay, it's my model, I'm gonna do it my way, okay? So that's my choice every time. I like to personalize stuff. I like it to have my signature on it, so to speak. So I'll do it in my style, okay? And that's what we're doing with this particular guy. But I have to say, it's been a fantastic day really busy, lots of coats down this, and obviously I made mistakes all the way through. We had the camo in the wrong place, we had to adjust things, we had to move things, and that's the thing though, you know, at the end of the day when you're doing it, just think, right, okay, it's all a stage, okay? So stage one, we put the white down, I got the white in a few little wrong places, we had to go back, we had to maneuver it, and then obviously we went in with different colors, got it basically set up, some bits we weren't happy with, had to maneuver it and all the rest of it. But the thing is, if you treat it all as little mini stages, it's not too much of a problem. Uh, we've actually got the tracks on as well, which is really nice. So the tracks are fitting there. I love these tracks. I am so happy we did them. It's great having a workable track as well, but it's just the way it sits. And also it gives the model a nice sense of weight uh, and things like that, which is really, really nice. The downside to all of this, guys, I'm sorry, I haven't actually got this edited because I'm still working on it, uh, to actually give you a part of this tonight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit it in the morning so you guys will have it up with you tomorrow and then I'll do a kit review in the afternoon. So obviously you'll get that as well. So I'm just running a little bit of a day late because I've thrown myself totally into doing this guy uh, and getting it 
pretty much done for the, the actual the weekend because what I'm going to do tomorrow is probably do two reviews in the afternoon which then free me up for a full day on this on Friday it would be lovely because then I can go and do the weathering and all the bits and pieces with it on like that so apologies I know every Wednesday Monday and Wednesday there's usually a full video build up for you but this week has been a bit of a funny week uh, and I haven't had a chance to get ahead enough on this one to give you a full part of it but hopefully normal service will resume on Monday because uh, Monday will be finishing off the SU27 that will be done hopefully this will be done and the Dolphin will be done and we'll be pushing through with new projects uh, and everything next week. So that's about it for today. Thank you for joining me. As I say, I've had a load of fun today in the spray booth. Uh, I'm really getting on with this one. So as I said, you can watch that. That'll be up with you tomorrow, but I'll be with you tomorrow anyway. And we can talk about the kit reviews and some of your great work. So until tomorrow, everybody, happy modeling. Take care.